everyone. So today I am going to be showing you how to create some Instagram stories highlights, which like you can do it really tricky in a tricky way, but you also don't have to have that much knowledge in tech and stuff to be able to do it really well um, and really, really pretty. So I found a really quick and easy way to do it. I am going to record my screen on um, my phone and then I'm hopefully gonna place it here. I'll have a go anyway. So what I use is, um, this is my social developing, might as well be calling that the kind of photo app editing. <laughs> um, so I use Pic Collage. I don't pay for it. I just downloaded the free one. And then what I do is I go to Freestyle and I click, oh, is this recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, and what I do is I click on the Freestyle and I click to Backgrounds. Then you can make your background any color that they've got here if you don't want to use one of those colors you could actually um use one of these which are all free as well um this i mean there are so many other ways you can do this and you can make this even more exciting and um use exciting things and download nice gold backgrounds and stuff but i'm just going to show you the most easy way that i use it so then i click the pink background click tick and even though it says pick collage down there I don't mind because later on I can show you how you can get rid of that <laughs> um, so what I use are th these I press stickers and I just use the free ones um, like lots of them you have to pay $1.99 and you know what if there's something you really really love I mean $1.99 isn't that much to get something that's gonna make your feed look beautiful especially if you're using it as a job so um, what you could have here these are all really really nice stickers and i think that they can be used for so many different things because you don't have to have a picture of food in particular you don't have, like everyone seems to have like a plate and knife and fork or an actual camera or um a laptop or something to kind of say exactly what they're talking about but you always write down below what they are so what i would say you've got one for tv programs or something and you can put that there instead so you can get rid of this put it up to the rubbish bin and you've got your next one and trella you've got it love it save to library then go to your photographs go along to this one edit zoom in and you've immediately got two really really nice ones so as you can see here i've got my instagram stories highlights with all the pictures that i've made just exactly like i've just now shown you and all you have to do is click into it edit highlight and it takes it's jolly good time so i've got my archived ones um is this grease so recently i put it in as you can see here and i made that my um my cover i think that was it something like that but basically you just edit your cover there and you can move the image into here also I put my at it's Megan Taylor on it so that if other people take it they've got my name on it kind of save it um, and done and another top tip is okay to change your font in your bio on your Instagram or um, on the, your cover photo names I use this website called qaz.wtf um, I will leave the link down there because there's a whole load of random stuff below it. Um, I don't really know what it is. I found it through someone else um, or Googling or something. I can't remember. Um, but if you type in something, so I typed in Greece here, you can see all these different types of fonts, however it works for you. And I use Math Monospace. And all you have to do is copy and paste it very slow and you can pop it in and you change it here just on your name of it and then it saves it and um it's all personalized so let me know if there's anything else you want me to teach you how to do that i might know how to do um <laughs> and i will try and help see you all soon bye